the Not Another Comic Con YouTube channel, starring myself, Mr. Ryan Parrish, and event or organiser extraordinary, Mr. Pete Burr. How are you doing? Not too well, thank you. So we thought we'd just have a quick introduction today to what Not Another Comic Con is, who's going to be there, what's the event all about, and a little bit of the history of the event. So Pete, you did your first one back in 2017 at the Novus Hill on Broad Street. Do you want to explain how you started off Not Another Comic Con? Um, it actually started as a, a project for my masters. We had to do a final um, event and it was a case of planning the event out executing the event and evaluating its success uh, and what I thought was going to turn into like a few people in a small room turned into like this huge big thing with hundreds of people and kind of got me hooked and I wanted to go again so uh, we've decided to kind of be a bit biannual or we'll skip a year unless this year goes ridiculously well and then we might go yearly but yeah uh, and, and everything was kind of beg, stolen, borrow for the first one. Like, I'm a poor student, can you help me out? Um, and this time around, it's, we're a little bit more established. We've got um, Fabian Planet International sponsoring it. We're going to have Comic-Con.com doing panels. We've got loads of kind of great mainstream artists. We've got, we've got the legend that is John Wagner's coming down, Emma Vasselli. Uh, Dan Cornwall, uh, Al Ewing, Jamie Delano, that's, that's got just a couple of our mainstream. We're championing small press again, so whether it be local or national small press, come get involved. We've, like I said, we've got panels, we've got cosplay, we've got gaming, it's it's literally got everything and it's a, it's a community feel, it's not a let's just take your money and let's not speak to anyone. It's a community feel, everyone wants to be involved, everyone has got a stake in the whole thing and it is that you can literally walk around and be involved with every single person. It's not that they're 70 pound, maybe you can't talk to somebody while they have the photo kind of thing. So we're at the launch of World Apart, <coughs> the Star Comics in Birmingham. Today, uh, Forbidden Planet have changed the name and yeah. it is a brand new refit. Reef yeah, they've invested some money, it, look, it looks amazing. Can, like, from someone I first shopped here in the 90s, like it was 94 when I first came in and bought a Batman action figure, it, the transformation is just, it literally is worlds apart and that wasn't intended as a pun but I'm led with it. Um, and it's just, it's amazing, it looks stunning and yeah, I think everyone who's come through the doors today is just, yeah, it's, it's blown away. It's a, it's a completely different level of, of store now for the city. And you may know, World of Art is owned by Vermillion Planet International, who are one of the big sponsors for the event. Yep. But they've been really fantastic. With it. Yeah, not only just putting their name towards the event itself, but uh, investing in terms of um, uh, finances towards uh, what we can do the areas that we can put that finance within, giving us platforms like today where we can come and sell tickets for our film screenings to promote the convention, the convention itself. Uh, they, they've got tables for World's Apart Nostalgia to be there on the day, so they're going to have a big one side of the room. So it's just little things. For a big MCM or a Showmasters, that's not a thing, but for someone like, like our convention, that's huge. It's a major investment, and that for us covers so much that, and gives us so much kind of more movement with what we want to do with things and the brand itself just lends to to kind of great publicity. I mean that's one of the joys of not another comic con as well. As you said it's a comics focused convention. There yep. will be media guests there, there will be some great media guests. But it is all about promoting small press and some of the more local creators. Yeah. It's it we had as m as many small press as we did have mainstream at the first convention and now we've got more space. We we've got almost like four or five times the original amount of space. We're over three rooms. We're over a, a giant amount of floor space. Yeah, and one of the, your venue for the day, Aston University. Aston, yeah. And it's going to be on a slightly larger scale than 2017's event if you went to the previous event at the Nova. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's uh, a big venue. It's um, Aston University, and they've been they've been great. So the in terms of going through how we get people in for loading through to the security on the day, which sounds like very operational. That's not comic kind but just the way they've worked with us to make sure that everyone involved is going to have the best experience. And it's just on the edge of the city centre. It's really easy to get to for any kind of transport. If you're going through any public transport to get there parking on site for the day? Yeah, there is parking on site. There's loads of parking nearby. Um, it's five minute walk on the train, all major motorways, all major routes in and out of Birmingham. 
it was one of the reasons for kind of speaking with us then. It literally is just one of the easiest places in the city centre to get to. Yeah. So it's coming up early August. So you're not third of time. August. Yeah. Not much, not much time left. You want to get your tickets sorted. No. But where can we find all the details online? Everything is on our social media. So we have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, so it's not another Comic Con. If you want to go to Google for the website, it's. Uh, not another comic on at Facebook, at NACC Birmingham for the Instagram and at NACC Birmingham for the Twitter. Um, and the links are on there for the Eventbrite tickets. And I'm looking into the distance because I can't remember all, all the uh, all <laughs> the, the links. will all be below in the I video think, description. Yeah, they will, they'll all be in the, in the description somewhere down here potentially. Um, maybe higher, wherever it's going to be. But um, yeah, so it, it's just one of the things I couldn't remember. Um, but it, it, like, it's, it's a great... It's a great little event that kind of springboards people to other things and we've got some great guests there, both media and film, we've got some comic creators, mainstream, small press, load of merchants, gamers, everything you want from a convention, but at the fraction of the price, but more of the community fair. Mr. Surfer Dave, as everybody's known. Surfer, how long have you been working for Forbidden Planet International? Uh, just over 10 years now. Mm -hmm. So you've been at the Saw all that time? All that time. So what was the impetus behind the refurb? Uh, I think we got to a point where we needed it. We have carried on the same way for so long that it needed a refresh. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell from your footfall, it's, yes. uh, it's uh, definitely been a result. Yes, <laughs> so, I mean, I turned up at 9 o'clock this morning. I could barely fit through the door. I think it was that busy. And so you've moved the comic section upstairs. We have. Used to be on the previous wall. Do you think that's going to be a better experience for customers? I think it is now. We've got all our uh, back issues, classics. Uh, the new comics, the, the, the mm -hmm. all in the same place. It makes a nice little comic again yeah. up there, which is uh, yeah, we've, we've had a, a lot of strong feedback on it. People yeah. enjoy and the story in general. Yeah. I and mean, I noticed you've had loads of nice little touches. So the staircase has some of the older movie posters. It really that you does. We had about. to keep the uh, the Batman. And you've the... got to put Batman Returns <laughs> in somewhere. I mean, because uh, for a long time, Chopper so it's been coming from the starting point since I was probably about half the height uh, and uh, it's great to see this refurb, it's great to see it going. Um, how was the process going for the refurb? I mean, I mean I'm not going to lie, it was a slug but the, the guys that actually did the refurb were actually fantastic, they've, uh, they've given us everything that we need, on, on the CDs, the floors, the, yeah. the, the shelving, it's all just beautiful and the guys were, were I'm not going to lie, my team had to work hard to, yeah. to, to get us here but, but we got here. So you're working closely with the Standard and uh, not another Comic Con this We are indeed, we've got, their, uh, we've got their event later on this year. Yes, so what can you expect from Forbidden Planet now? Well, we're, we're going to be there on the tables, there'll be, uh, there'll be uh, our stall will be there, we'll be uh, helping Pete and I'm sure he'll be helping us. Yeah, I think they've got a whole wall planned of just um, World of Planet and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so what can customers expect if they come to the store? If they've not been a previous visitor, what can they expect from World Depart now? You can expect more. We were able to, with the changes that we put in place, we're able to get a lot more of the, the Japanese and the Manifesto statues in. Yeah. We'll, we'll be able to, uh, I mean, the fact that we've got an entire wall of Funko across two aisles is, uh, <laughs> so you yeah. should, should see the Funko range extending even more. Um, and yeah, you've still the got the manga. fantastic manga collection, exactly. uh, three for two as always. Yeah, yeah, we've still got the offer on, three for two. Mm -hmm. um, GP's one for um, <laughs> So yeah, we're, uh, yeah. we're doing well. Yeah, I was seeing some great statues now, you've got this really nice display cabinet in the window so people can see the proper statues. attraction and all. It's like a little oasis in the darkness. And um, what days and hours are you open? So uh, on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's 9.30 to 5.30, and the Wednesday, 9.30 to 6.30, and Sunday, 11 to 4. Brilliant, thanks very much for joining us. No, no problem. Thank you for coming down, guys. Bye.